USC played uh, a few defenses here. They threw in a press. So anytime a, a team plays different defenses, uh, you know, it prepares us for teams that might switch it up. And, um, you know, they can score. So it, they tested us on the defensive end. So um, UCLA is the same way. They can really score, and they're going to throw a lot of defenses at us. So I thought it really prepared us for the next game. Continuing to honor the process, like Coach Miller says, and working hard in practice tomorrow and executing and coming with the, the mindset that, you know, we're going to have to come ready on Saturday uh, or UCLA is going to make us pay. I think everybody knows how good UCLA is. And, uh, you know, UCLA and Arizona have had a history for many, many years. Uh, we've had some great games against them. Um, recently, several that we have not won. So uh, we know that we're playing against a very good team. Late in February, this is a golden opportunity for UCLA to come on the road and make a big statement and leave with a great road win. So we know we're going to be playing against a very good team. They're playing their best basketball of the season right now, and uh, we have to get ready. You know, they have an extra day, and we have to make sure that tomorrow we move forward. We've been an outstanding rebounding team all year on defense. As a matter of fact, I think we might be the number one defensive rebounding team in the nation. Uh, we haven't always offensive rebounded, mm -hmm. and um, we're doing a better job of that. Tonight was a great example. But rebounding is one of our strengths, and that's something that we have to continue to do well. It will be tested like it never has on Saturday. Mm -hmm. UCLA, in my opinion, is the best rebounding team that we've played other than Gonzaga.